Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Marvel's Descendants of Gods and Demons. Chapter 56. Because he was wearing green goblin armor and had received the strengthening agent, although Norman suffered a severe impact, the damage to his body was not great, and it only made him feel some pain. This pain stimulated his nerves and made his green goblin personality almost crazy. He he he. Norman's hands stretched out from the wall, and using the faults on both sides of the wall, he stretched the front part of his body out of the wall. His ferocious green goblin helmet was pointed at Lu Yu, and he let out a penetrating laugh. Mutant bug, you pissed me off. Raising his arm and pointing it out the window, an iron rope shot out from Norman's armor. The hook shattered the glass and flew out the window, hanging on a telephone pole outside the building. Baba. The iron chain quickly contracted, pulling Norman's body directly outside the building. Before reaching the telephone pole, Norman suddenly let go of the iron rope. His body paused in the air and was about to fall to the road hundreds of meters below. The glider that had been stuck in the wall made huge amounts of roar at this time, and the masonry around it kept shattering and falling. The glider that detached from the wall flew past Luyu like lightning and flew quickly towards Norman. At the critical moment when Norman began to fall, he caught Norman in time. Mutant, let's see who is the Joker. Norman pressed the button on the hang glider, and the gate at the front of the hang glider opened. Seven or eight fist-sized spheres popped out of it and flew towards Lu Yu. Call out. In midair, the sphere suddenly made several subtle, clicking, sounds, and a sharp blade protruded from both sides, emitting an icy cold light. Within a few breaths, Fei shot right in front of Lu Yu's eyes. Lu Yu's expression remained unchanged, his body instantly entered an elemental state, and several flying darts passed through a mass of black sand. I know this thing comes with a tracking function and can explode. After dodging the attack of the flying darts ball, Lu Yu did not choose to break away from the elementalization, but controlled the black sand to follow the flying darts ball and wrap it up. You want me to be in a hurry? Impossible. A few seconds later, flying darts made of alloy fell from the black sand to the ground. Green Goblin, your performance was truly wonderful. The black sand gathered into a humanoid shape in front of the broken glass. A few centimeters ahead of where Lu Yu stood, hundreds of meters above the ground, it's just that I don't seem to like it very much. Lu Yu gently raised his hands, and the surrounding furniture and decorations collapsed violently. In an instant, they were corrupted into tens of piles of dust by invisible forces. So please end it early. Dust flew in the air gathering into several sand pillars that were larger than an ordinary person's body, and rushed towards Noki. Norman saw the sand pillars crisscrossing and whizzing towards him, and when he moved his feet, the hang glider stretched out several gun tubes. Bang 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 bang. Countless bullets hit the surface of the sand pillars, but did not have any impact on the progress of the sand pillars. They seemed to have absorbed all the kinetic energy and slowly fell from the air. Green Goblin is coming. Green Goblin is coming. Someone heard the noise on the road, looked up and saw Norman and his hang glider, and shouted in horror, where's Spider-Man? Why hasn't Spider-Man appeared yet? Quote. Oh God, come and save us. Seeing that the bullets had no effect on the sand pillar, Norman hurriedly pulled out a samurai sword from the hang glider, twisted the switch on it, and a green light appeared on the sword. When the sand pillars approached, the glider sprayed out two high temperature flames several meters long. The air twisted and blocked several sand pillars. After all, these sand pillars are just a collection of ordinary dust, and high temperature flames are their natural nemesis. But at this moment, Norman had no time to taunt Lu Yu, because even if there were flames in front of him as a barrier, there were still three pillars of sand that broke through the obstacles of the flames and rushed in front of him. Norman kept waving the long energy knife in his hand. Every time he slashed with it, the sand pillar could be split into two halves. A large amount of sand and dust turned into crystal particles and fell to the ground out of control. Who is that person fighting the green goblin? Someone with a corner of their eye saw Lu Yu, who was manipulating the sand pillar to attack Norman in front of the broken windows of the Osborne Industrial Building. He is really powerful. He can actually kill the green goblin. Spider-Man can't even hit him with pressure. He seems to be a mutant but he is stopping the Green Goblin to protect us. 
Lu Yu's hearing is very good, especially when his divinity flashes now, he can very clearly hear the sound of people whispering on the road downstairs. It seems like I've been called a superhero again. Lu Yu controlled the sand pillar with a relaxed expression, shook his head helplessly and said to the green goblin outside, I really hate this feeling. Ridiculous mutant, what kind of superhero are you? Green Goblin was hit by a ball of sand and fell from the hang glider into the air, and then used the iron rope in his other hand to get back to the hang glider. You and I are exactly the same kind of people. I agree with you very much. Lu Yu's eyes were full of divinity. A small stream of black death energy flowed out from his body and quickly integrated into a pillar of sand, rendering the pillar of sand into a black, in this world. Heroes don't exist at all. After metamorphosis, the sand pillars that have turned into black exude a terrifying aura of destruction and decay, which makes people feel cold and heart palpitating. The black sand pillar rushed toward Norman violently, ignoring Norman's and Glider's attacks, and instantly wrapped Norman into a black sand chrysalis. Norman struggled in the sand chrysalis, but there was no way to escape the shackles of the sand chrysalis. The surface of the sand chrysalis kept bulging in places, and then sank back weakly. Lu Yu looked at the sand chrysalis slowly floating in front of him indifferently, the gray light in his eyes moved slightly, and the sand chrysalis quickly opened a gap, revealing Norman's fearful and frightened face. Asterisk backquote what did you say before? Let me go to hell to repent. Lu Yu's smile was so cold that Norman fell into an ice cave. But you don't know, a small place like hell can't accommodate it, my existence. Quote. It might be able to accommodate you. It's just. Lu Yu put her head close to Norman's ear and said in a very thin voice, it seems that you don't even have a chance to go to hell. I surrender. I will cooperate with you. Norman's whole body was trembling. He felt a strong breath of death covering his body, as if Nomo Zhao was about to destroy his soul in the next moment. Devouring them all, I can give you all the research materials, strengthening potions. As long as you let me go. Norman has completely lost the arrogance and arrogance he had before. He looks like a humble begging joker now. I think you misunderstood me. Lu Yu raised a hand, put a slap on Norman's panic face, and said in a very regretful tone, I already had a partner when I was one step ahead. Quote. The cyan blood vessels protruded and slowly turned into withered black, spreading ferociously from Norman's face and slowly spreading around Norman's body don't want. Norman's eyes were bulging and bulging, shaking constantly. He begged Lu Yu for mercy with great difficulty in an extremely hoarse voice. Give me the most complete information and potions. A heart-stopping cold smile appeared on the corner of Lu Yu's lips, and he said slowly and jokingly in his tone. I'm not talking to you about cooperation, I'm asking you to do this. I will definitely do as you say, please let me go, I can become your slave. Norman's body has begun to slowly dry up, and only a layer of skin can be seen wrapping the bones on the face exposed from the black chrysalis. Green Goblin, narcissism is not a good habit. The black sand that made up the black pupa quickly split into a gap. Lu Yu pinched Norman's neck and pulled him out of the black pupa, his gray eyes full of disdain. Staring at Norman, you don't seem to know who I am. An ant like you is not even qualified to be my slave. Lu Yu's tone was very calm, he was just stating a fact. Perhaps to others, a slave is the kind of servant who comes and goes when called, who thinks of his master wholeheartedly, and who can be killed at will without any reason. But this is not the case for Lu Yu. As the inheritor of the power of Anubis and the new death god of the underworld, the selection of all his slaves must be the best in the world. After becoming his slaves, these people are equivalent to Death God's spokespersons, walking in the world on behalf of Death God, spreading faith and awe. A small character like Green Goblin cannot shoulder such a mission. You are right, I am just a humble and humble ant, please let me go. Norman did not understand the meaning of Lu Yu's words. He just said to Lu Yu with eyes full of pleading, I don't want to die, I really don't want to die, as long as you let me go, I will give you everything I have. Norman once lay in the hospital bed for a long time, wandering on the edge of life and death countless times. Even getting out of bed and walking was an impossible luxury for him. After being injected with body-strengthening agents, Norman regained the life and vitality he dreamed of, and even made countless ordinary people stronger. 
No one understands the beauty of life better than him, and no one understands the horror of death better than him. Now Norman, smelling the putrid smell emanating from his shriveled and withered body, clearly felt that with every breath, his body was heading towards the limit of decay. I have been critically ill and on the verge of death countless times in the past, but nothing like this has happened now. It made him feel that death was close at hand. Norman's feeling was indeed correct, because in a sense, Lu Yu, who was standing in front of him and squeezing his neck, was the original embodiment of the dead man. I don't want to repeat it a third time. I only give you ten minutes. A large amount of death energy from Lu Yu's body was poured into Norman's body, and Norman's already shriveled body quickly became fuller. He regained his original appearance of a middle-aged man. If ten minutes pass and I haven't seen what I want, no matter who comes, they can't save your life. Lu Yu threw Norman heavily to the ground and said in a cold tone, you can try it and see if I'm lying. Norman's body fell to the ground. He didn't want to stand up immediately, but crawled forward a few times, trying to stay as far away from Lu Yu as possible. I will never doubt what you said. Norman climbed up from the ground tremblingly, with fear in his trembling voice, just wait for me for a while, and I will get it to you right away. Norman walked to a corner of the office, lifted up the wooden board on the ground, and took out a box and a USB flash drive from inside. Whether it is biological experimental data on the human body or Green Goblin strengthening agent, these are things that Norman himself studies quietly in private and cannot be discovered by others, so Norman always takes them wherever he goes. He never thought that one day his habit would actually save his life. Norman lifted the two things with a fearful expression, walked to Lu Yu with his head lowered, all the things you want are here. Taking the box in his hand and opening it, Lu Yu nodded with satisfaction after taking a look at the six test tubes neatly arranged inside. The liquid contained in the six test tubes flashed green, giving people a sense of danger. Lu Yu knew that these liquids were the strengthening agent that transformed Norman from a dying old man into a super soldier. It can strengthen people's physical fitness to the limit of the human body, and can also greatly extend the life of the injected person. It looks very good, but it is just a failure that is infinitely close to success. It does not meet the expectations it should achieve. The strengthening agent developed by Osborne Industries is actually based on the super soldier serum injected by Captain America during World War II. After Abraham, the developer of the super soldier serum, was killed, several large organizations divided up his manuscript notes and some research materials during his lifetime, and Osborne was one of these organizations. After many years of research, Norman Osborne finally copied the current Green Goblin strengthening agent from the defective manuscript. Although it can also greatly strengthen physical fitness, unlike the original Super Soldier Serum, which makes good people better and bad people worse, the side effects of Green Goblin strengthening agent are much greater. It will directly create another evil personality life, which will control the host's body from time to time. But even so, Green Goblin Strengthening Agent can indeed be said to be the closest replica to the original. Get this potion, and then ask for the manuscript that S.H.I.E.L.D. obtained back then from S.H.I.E.L.D. Finally, Tony may also have a manuscript. Lu Yu believes that once a cutting-edge laboratory is established, it will be able to recreate the Super Soldier Serum, and perhaps eliminate the side effects of the original version. Once the Super Soldier Serum is re-researched, it will be of great help to the implementation of Lu Yu's future plans. To cope with the future doomsday, Lu Yu cannot do it alone. Lu Yu cannot control every one of his subordinates with death energy, because those controlled by death energy can no longer be counted as living beings. Once they lose the support of death energy, their souls will immediately be pulled into the underworld. The laws of the world have their own reasons for their existence. If his men are all a group of dead people from the underworld, Lu Yu is not preventing the apocalypse, but creating the apocalypse when the death god comes. If Lu Yu possesses a body strengthening agent, he will be able to conquer many non-body strengthening mutants. Thinking of this, Lu Yu felt that it was necessary for him to find time to go back to Xavier's school to see if he could trick Chin Gray, an expert in biology, into joining his cutting-edge laboratory. Help control the Phoenix Force might be a good idea. Your current body, without my energy supplement, can continue to support your survival for up to three months. It's best for you not to go anywhere in these three months and wait for me to come to you. 
Lu Yu walked to the door of the office and opened the already dilapidated door. He turned around and said to Norman with a playful tone, You know what? I've been looking forward to you and Spider-Man fighting side by side. After saying that, Lu Yu strode out of Norman's office. In fact, if he hadn't been extremely short of manpower now, he wouldn't have used his death energy to control Norman to get him to do things for him. Green Goblin's personality determines that Norman, even if he has some talents elsewhere, is of no use. Seeing Lu Yu disappear outside the door, Norman seemed to have lost all strength and collapsed to the ground. Not far in front of him, the only newspaper in the room that had not been turned to dust by Lu Yu's death breath was being flipped gently with the breeze blowing in from the broken window. The Green Goblin is raging in the city, who can stop it? The headlines in the news newspapers reflected in Norman's eyes, making him feel Lu Yu's silent ridicule. If I've proven anything to the world, it's that you can absolutely trust me. Tony, who was talking to the camera on the TV, was a little carried away. When he left the camera, he even put on his sunglasses very handsomely. Tisk, 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 I have to take a picture of his majestic look. Lu Yu felt happy when he saw this scene. He knew that within a few days, Tony would be visited by the morning whip. Then slapped in the face mercilessly. Lu Yu didn't intend to remind Tony, because not only those hypocritical politicians, but even Lu Yu felt extremely unhappy when she saw Tony's confident and proud look. He really wanted to know how wonderful Tony's expression would be if he showed this video to Tony after experiencing the funeral whip incident. It will probably be a little more exciting than the time I tricked him. Lu Yu thought with malicious intent. After watching the TV show about Tony, Lu Yu happily took out a bottle of red wine from the wine cellar and pressed his thumb on the bottle mouth. The glass from the bottle mouth flew out and fell into the trash can, inside. Beep. As soon as Lu Yu poured the red wine into a goblet, before Lu Yu could take a sip, the doorbell of the villa rang. Lu Yu walked out of the wine cellar with some confusion and opened the door. A man in black robes was standing outside the door, as if he was about to ring the doorbell. When he saw the door open, the black-robed man's hand stopped in midair. Friend, are you sure you're not looking in the wrong place? Lu Yu frowned and asked with some confusion. In his impression, he had never met such a weird person. I don't think so. The man in black robe spoke, his voice was so hoarse that he couldn't tell whether he was a man or a woman. Only then did Lu Yu realize that even at noon when the sun was at its strongest, the hood of the man in black was still pitch black, making it impossible for him to see the man in black. Moreover, the robes worn by the men in black robes are embroidered with many golden patterns, which actually reveal a solemn and sacred feeling. As soon as the man in black robe finished speaking, he walked straight towards the door beside him without waiting for Lu Yu to ask further questions. Lu Yu did not expect the man in black robe to act out of common sense. By the time he reacted, the man in black robe had already entered the villa. This is a private residence. Lu Yu frowned, turned around, and said to the man in black robe with a hint of annoyance, I mean, I don't know you. But I know you. The man in black didn't seem to hear the emotion in Lu Yu's words. After entering the villa, he sat directly on the sofa in the living room and said in a hoarse voice, Why don't you buy me a few drinks? Prince. Lu Yu gently raised one of his hands, and a piece of yellow sand as thick as his arm flew out from the corner of the living room. It rotated over Lu Yu's palm and formed a maracas the size of a basketball file. Since you know me, you must know that I am a mutant. Lu Yu's words were full of warnings, and they were the most dangerous kind. Either leave by yourself, or I let you leave. The man in black robe slowly raised his hands and said helplessly, Please, I'm just here to make a deal with you. Don't make us look like enemies, okay? After hearing what the man in black robe said, Lu Yu curled his lips disdainfully, although I like to make deals with others, I don't like others to come to me to make deals. Believe me, the man in black robe raised his head confidently and said to Lu Yu, you will like my deal. Lu Yu looked at the man in black robe and did not answer. His mind was constantly spinning, guessing the identity of the person in front of him. He compared many Marvel characters he knew with this man in black robe, but he didn't find anyone who could match him. 
There are only two possibilities for this situation, either the man in black robe in front of him is just an unknown minor character, or the way he is wearing black robe is just a disguise. Judging from the feeling the black robe man gave him, the latter was more likely. Why do you have to guess who I am? The man in black robe seemed to have seen through Lu Yu's thoughts, with a meaningful feeling in his voice, just ask me directly, I won't hide anything from you. Can you read my mind? Lu Yu's nerves suddenly became tense. He regretted not wearing a helmet that shielded him from mental attacks today. You read my mind, right? There was murderous intention in Lu Yu's eyes, and it disappeared in a flash. No one must know that his soul came from another world. No, and no need. The man in black robe stood up and walked to Lu Yu. In the darkness under his hood, two faint purple spots of light suddenly lit up, like his eyes. Why are you afraid of those who can read minds? Lu Yu felt extremely chaotic emotions from the dark purple light spots of the black robe man. Just as he was about to take action, what the man in black robe said next made all his movements stop. Do you really think Charles has never tried to check your memory? The man in black robe leaned forward slightly, and his voice suddenly rose a lot, it's not that he doesn't want to, it's that he simply can't do it, chi. I don't know what you're talking about. Although he couldn't see the face of the man in black robe, Lu Yu still couldn't help but stare at the only two purple spots that the man in black robe could see, I understand what you said. To sow discord. Prince Kane. The man in black robe called Lu Yu's name and tilted his head slightly. This action, coupled with the faint purple light spots on his eyes, gave him an extremely evil feeling. You are always so innocent. Dot and brilliant. The man in black robe leaned forward, and the black hood slowly came closer to Lu Yu's face. His words were full of sarcasm, you have you never thought about how Charles knew you had a spiritual space before he guided you, 000, to discover your mutant ability. He is a telepathy, not a mutant ability sensor. After hearing the words of the man in black robe, Lu Yu's heart suddenly sank. His whole body seemed to be struck by lightning, and he froze in place. As the man in black robe said, in this world, except for a few special mutants, telepaths like Charles, are not equipped with the ability to sense other people's mutant abilities. So why was Charles so sure that he could help him discover mutant ability when he was on the plane taking him to Xavier's school? Lu Yu's eyes kept flickering, memories of the past emerged in his mind, and scenes full of doubts were slowly recalled by Lu Yu. Many things that seemed normal before now seem a bit unnatural in retrospect. Especially in the simulation exercise, when Lu Yu was about to kill Pyro John, why didn't Charles directly remind Lu Yu in Lu Yu's mind, but instead worked harder to control the seriously injured Pyro John to communicate with Lu Yu? It seemed that as Lu Yu grew older, Charles spoke less and less in his mind. Until the year when Lu Yu was 17, Lu Yu never heard Charles in his mind again. Over Charles's voice. Lu Yu is not stupid, he just doesn't and doesn't want to think about it. I have no doubt, if I don't remind you. The man in black robe sneered and said in an extremely cold tone, when you discover this yourself, you will have lost everything. Who are you? Lu Yu frowned and looked at the man in black robe with a complicated expression. As for what the man in black robe said, that Charles couldn't read his mind, Lu Yu already had a guess in her mind. The mysterious disc that brought him to this world. As an existence that can give Lu Yu spiritual power, the mysterious disc may not be protecting his mind, but it is protecting Lu Yu's memories from prying eyes. He had had similar ideas before, but he had never had the chance to verify it. You can't go to Chin Grey and tell her. Hey girl, come and read my mind and see if you can tell from my memory that you are actually a comic book character. As long as Lu Yu's brain is not broken, it is impossible to do such a thing. Now that he has doubts about Charles's behavior, Lu Yu feels more and more that the reason why Charles speaks less and less in his mind is because he is becoming more and more proficient in Death God's ability. He was constantly getting stronger, so much so that it became more difficult for Charles to get into his mind. If you just think along this line of thinking, it is impossible for the man in black robe to know that Lu Yu has a mysterious disc. But how did the man in black robe know that he was guided by Charles to discover mutant ability? Why is the man in black robe so sure that he is immune to mind reading? This surprised Lu Yu and made him even more confused. 
Lu Yu felt that he had to figure this out, as it was related to his foundation in this world. You can call me Chen Shi. After hearing Lu Yu's question, the man in black robe took a few steps back, sat back on the sofa, and said in a slow tone, there are many people who are malicious to you, and I am definitely not one of them. 1. Chinese people. Although Lu Yu still maintained a high degree of vigilance in his heart, a gentle smile appeared on his face, I like that place in China very much. It is the birthplace of many civilizations in this world. That's right. Chen Shi, the man in black robe, was silent for a while, then slowly nodded to Lu Yu, you can think so. I'm here to negotiate a deal with you. Chen Shi said impatiently, I'm not here to be friends with you. Okay, 1.9, okay, deal. Lu Yu shrugged helplessly, walked to sit opposite Chen Shi, why do I always feel like you are grabbing my lines? Maybe you can think about it again. Chen Shi leaned back on the sofa, held his head high and said provocatively, see if you can get your rhythm back. You are very conceited. Lu Yu stared at the faint purple light in Chen Zai's hood, his expression suddenly became serious, and the gray light in his eyes flourished, I think I really have it now. Interested, let's listen to the deal you mentioned. Lu Yu was wearing white pajamas and sat opposite Chen Shi. Their gray and purple gazes collided in the air. I want the helmet you got from Magneto. Chen Shi saw Lu Yu's eyes suddenly turn gray. He didn't show any surprise, but said very calmly. It won't do anything to you, but it will save my life. Lu Yu scratched his head and looked very embarrassed. Even if what you said is true, that helmet can at least help me stabilize my mental strength. It's not useless at all. And you just told me that you will die without it, aren't you afraid that I will take the opportunity to blackmail you? Lu Yu clasped his hands on his chest, looked at Chen Shi and said very seriously, believe me, I would do that under normal circumstances. Mental power. Chen Shi laughed disdainfully, and the two purple rays of light in the hood became a little brighter, you won't need this low-grade energy soon. Sounds like good news. Lu Yu nodded seriously, and then said helplessly, but I still can't give you a discount. If you want to take away the helmet, you have to give enough chips. I want the one that can impress me. Lu Yu paused and then said, but before the transaction, I first want to know what the name Chen Shi means. My Chinese name is Lu Yu, isn't it? Chen Shi was silent for a while, and his hoarse voice was a little uncertain, have you guessed it? I really don't think it's that difficult. Lu Yu stood up, walked to Chen Shi who was sitting on the sofa, and said condescendingly, I always think that I am one of the rare smart people. I led Hydra. They called me the God of Dawn, which is just a homophone. Chen Shi also stood up and looked at Lu Yu without any sign of weakness. If you are smart enough, then you will not be killed by Charles. Blinded for so many years. It seems that you have a lot of resentment towards the professor. Lu Yu pursed his lips nonchalantly, forgive me for not being able to resonate with your emotions, because so far, the professor has not done anything to apologize to me. Doesn't cheating count? Chen Zai's voice was full of anger, hatred, and resentment. His constantly flashing eyes showed that he was extremely emotionally unstable, don't be naive anymore. Charles, and his Xavier's school, will eventually put you in a place of eternal destruction. Chen Shi raised his hands and took off the hood on his head. Countless black smoke drifted and dissipated in the air, revealing the face wrapped inside. I have already seen this before you. A face that looked exactly like Lu Yu appeared in front of Lu Yu. The only difference between them is that Lu Yu's face is white, and his eyes are pure gray representing the death god's divinity. But Chen Zai's face was covered with enchanting purple patterns, making his whole face look a bit evil and ghostly. His dark purple eyes were full of disasters, sins, and many other negative traits. In the air, there was a dead silence that could not even be heard breathing, as if time had frozen at this moment. A particularly solemn atmosphere spread between the two people. Lu Yu in white and Chen Shi in black robe. They looked at each other like gods and demons. It seems that the Christmas surprise has been brought forward. Lu Yu secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Although he had vaguely guessed Chen Zai's identity just now, before the truth was revealed. He was actually still very nervous inside. What Chen Shi mentioned involved his biggest secret, so he couldn't help but be a little careless. He was ready to take action and plan to kill Chen Shi quickly to protect his secret from being leaked when he found out that his guess was wrong. 
what a pity, the time I can come back is short, can't you show a little shock? A faint evil smile appeared on the corner of Chen Zai's mouth, I came from the past. The tattoos on your body are disgusting. Lu Yu looked at Chen Shi up and down with critical eyes, but it's not my taste at all. Do you think this is a tattoo? Chen Shi sneered after hearing Lu Yu's words, can you change your naivety? This is all thanks to Charles and his Xavier's school. Chen Zaiyu's purple eyes kept flashing, and he roared at Lu Yu, I have to endure the torture of all the original sins and scourges in the world all the time. No peace, do you know what kind of pain this is? I definitely know. Lu Yu curled her lips without changing her expression, opened her hands and pointed at Chen Shi and said jokingly, just like you are now. As expected, you will become the nourishment for the root of sin just like me. Chen Shi closed his eyes and slowly calmed down his emotions, after all, I am you in the future. Compared to talking about the illusory future, Lu Yu showed no concern for the future that Chen Shi said. He looked at Chen Shi and narrowed his eyes with laughter. I'd rather know what you're going to trade Magneto's helmet with me for. Chen Shi said with a serious expression, each infinite gems can start the inheritance of a god. This information is very good. Lu Yu nodded with great satisfaction, this alone is not enough. Even if you don't tell me now, I can discover it myself as long as I come into contact with infinite gems. As you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. and I are about to have a deep cooperation, and they have an infinite gems. I don't intend to use this as a bargaining chip, it can only be regarded as a friendly reminder to, myself. Chen Shi took a deep look at Lu Yu and said in a low tone, if you want to change mutant's future, don't you just don't want to change your own future? I want to correct you a little. Lu Yu suddenly raised his hand to interrupt Chen Zai's words, his tone was full of confidence, you are you, I am me. The tragedy that happened to you is your past, but it is definitely not my future. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.